Greetings, I am Lies, and I use she, her. And I am Scandal, and I use they, them. And let's play a game together! Woo! All right! Yay. All right, well, we are in the park trying to figure out what we're doing with our life once more, because all the boys forever, actually, but that's all right. I, mm, yeah, it is. How, how did they find out? Are you trying to find a new job at another cafe? Nope, unfortunately, that is not the case. Nope. I went to shoe stores, clothing stores, and even a supermarket. Oh. Like, dang, my bro, somehow all the store managers know about it. That's, that's odd. It is, actually. Oh, why are you even looking for a new job? What was your plan? I don't know. I thought that finding a new job would help out. Uh. You know, the thing that jobs are supposed to do, that I wouldn't have to rely on getting money from anyone else, and that maybe I could stay away from everybody who seems to be trying to control and interact with my life. Also, I could just move away from the other boss and maybe just not deal with this at, at all? all. Because if I never go back to see her ever again, she has to hunt me down. You know, right? I know where you live. And she has to have reasonable proof because, you know... You just do. I, I love the fact that she really did just threaten us, though. I'm like, I know where you live. I'm like, holy shit, bro. That's like uh -huh. a level of way too close. But I guess that was a stupid idea. It doesn't really help in solving my current problem. It's actually. true, but it is one of your own problems. Like, your current problem is something pushed on you by someone else. Mm -hmm. But your own problem that belongs to you is not having a job and you want one. Right. Not having a source of income and you want one. That kind of thing. And so, like, the problem that belongs to you and you're owning of going, okay, I can lose a job and that can happen and I want a job. Right. Um, you're trying to solve. And the other problem, which is not, you know, your fault or your doing or you're connected with, yeah, this. But I don't know where this plot is going with this. Like, I I'm confused. Because I was expecting a boy to just straight out bail us out. Like, I was expecting to run into Alex being like, I've already solved it all because I control your life. Right? Uh -huh. I've actually been really confused as to where the, again, the aggressiveness of the guy seems to have basically just completely dropped off. Has tapered off quite solidly and quite suddenly. Substantially. And especially in reference to I own you, it really is... Okay, interesting commentary here. It suddenly occurs to me. They're only interested in owning and possessing you when it's you have time with another man. This is in reference to a woman. Mmm. You know, if that's it, this game would be far more... Nuance? Uh, if, if you sort of fucking... I'd be like, wow, that is some commentary to have in the middle of this, but like, whoa. Damn. Damn, bro. I, it doesn't really help me in solving my current problem. I break into tears and... And hugs me. With this sort of malicious, I'm going to consume you face. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm fine, Ben, really. I wipe away my tears and push Ben away. Mm. What's wrong? Do you want me to leave? Uh. He holds my hands tight. I just want you to ask before you get into my space. That's all. We're not actually that close. So, please. Oh. It's really uh. exhausting, actually. Constantly. Oh. And then he gets a face again. Oh, do you want me to leave? Stunned. And then, oh, or do you want me to stay? stay with Oh, do you want me to stay with you? Uh, I... Yep, that's what I thought. No, this will be the same stupid argument. Okay, we don't have enough for this, so excuse us while we use all the crap that we have. And the thing is, is we could totally, um... Uh, go ahead. I, I say, I don't think she would ask him to stay. I don't think so either. Like, but yeah, just to make sure we have enough. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't think so at all. Based off of everything that I've seen in regards to how she has shifted and changed, and even her being like, oh, I can assert myself more, and how she normally does try to resist these guys. I mean, she also just pushed him away. Oh, yeah. And like, please don't touch me kind of thing. You can comfort me, but from over there. there? Yeah. And then he still grabs your hands and holds them anyway. Right. And she's like, she's not reciprocating at all, nor feeling into this at all. Oh, no. And if we say, yes, I want you to stay with me, with the ear marker of the sparkly little gem and the pink outline, I don't think it's going to be, you can completely stay with me. It would be good to have support. Right? It's going to be something very different, And actually. I think Byrne knows that if she asks him to stay, he's going to push his way back into her space. <sighs> As per usual. So, no? Yeah, it's going to be no. I'm, I know, I'm, I'm going to be fine. I... I'm afraid also vaguely, again, like, a lot of the fear, though, in Burn as a character has just completely gone away. Because I'm not kidding, like, to me, I'm like, I didn't feel like we were really making some of it up, where it was like, wow, your character is just horrified. And actually, it reminds me mm -hmm. where actually there's been, um, basically there was uh, on Folding Ideas, okay. so there's a YouTuber by the name of Folding Ideas, mm -hmm. um, where it's like he fold actually does a, oh, like, folding paper. Yeah, so it's, it's like folding, folding ideas. Mm -hmm. um, 
where he talks about actually Fifty Shades of Grey, and there was a discussion apparently around where uh, there was a romance uh, author who was pretty prolific, where they're like, it's a it's a line you have to walk, and you have to walk it very carefully. Well, while there's an element of like danger or sort of like sauciness, basically, in that sort of danger to the relationship that you might want to try to court, basically, you have to be really careful that it doesn't just turn out into like flat out like terror or actual abuse. And that's mm. where I feel like this game is. I want to say, if its intent was to be sexy or playful or whatever, to me, it feels These like These guys, a they're dangerous, they're powerful, they're <clears throat> pushy, but you're interested. Right? See, and Vern doesn't feel like she's interested. And what this feels like to me, honestly, is very much like she's just basically hit her breaking point and that she just can't even anymore, if you will. Like, she just can't even. Right. And that that experience is... Um, how, how do I put it? Like, it just made it so that she doesn't have as much patience. She's gotten more assertive by way of exhaustion rather mm -hmm. than by way of confidence. Right. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, and that's why I'm like, it's really weird to watch them have, like, built all that up and they just kind of dropped it. But also, like... it's also a level of things keep compounding, and without them even meaning to, it could be that Burn's so overwhelmed she can't process it all, so the game's feeling more empty because she's so stressed she can't even keep track of the various things that are stressing her out anymore. Right. So all the random phone calls, texts, and guys just showing up at her house isn't even worth mentioning anymore unless something notable happens. Right. Something remarkable. Because yeah. all that stuff has been established. It's just going on. Right. No, I'm going to be fine. But uh, thank you. Don't mention it, Burn. That's what friends are for, right? Mm. I just nod and smile wryly. Because you know what? You haven't wanted to be our friend. Ben kisses my forehead. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Thank you. I no one it. at all. There's no effort to look. No, we can't look it up. There's no way to do this. I'm like, I feel like this also, this build up is going to be, it really will be solved in some sort of stupid way. Like a way that I find to be truly inane or just sort of like, ugh, exasperating, mm -hmm. but we'll see. After sitting all by myself for another 15 minutes, I've made my decision. I'm going to accept Ben's help. I was going to say, but he's not helping you. He's just basically proving your guilt. What? And supporting no! your aggressor. And I'm just like, uh, this This is frustrating, but again, this, this supports a narrative that she's overwhelmed and doesn't know who to go to or any resources, or that she's also extremely naive. You know, that she can't figure out anyone to talk to, any action to take, and like, the thing with Mark, like, it's really strange that Mark didn't follow up on any Anything? of that at yeah. all, because he's resourceful. And, like, again, I'm, can, I'm, I'm like, curious about where this plot is going. This feels like one of the longer, more drug-out, like, drama arcs. Mm -hmm. And I'm confused, because usually you end up with Boy, and then, you know, it resolves the arc. Right. And uh, this one's something else. <clears throat> I guess this will be us solving the arc, though, with Ben, because now we don't have any choice. Although I didn't steal anything from them. I think it's better if I return the money to them. You can't return money you don't have, honey. Yep. Apologize and move on. I can find give. another part-time job and pay Ben back, little by little. When I'm about to walk to the bus stop, I see Ben sitting in his car. He seems to have been waiting for me. Uh, ben? You really just left and stayed parked outside the park? Hi. Ben waves at me and signals me to get in his car, and so I do. That actually makes him even more uncomfortable. Again, we've gone back to mild uncomfortables, where he didn't just leave you alone. He just sat there and waited in his car for you to basically try to walk away. And then be like, hey, I'm just here casually, what's up? Mm -hmm. For you to be done with your experience of sitting quietly. Uh -huh. And then I have access to you again, because you're doing something different. And also, though, you, you need to realize that this was going to happen anyway. You would need to come to me, because I'm also the only guy of all of them. He's really the only one who's offered a solution to deal with the... Problem as it stands in its immediacy. Yes. Here, I'll just give you money while Joey is after you get in trouble. I'm still interested that Alex and Nate haven't engaged, like, at, at all? all. Like, that's weird. Especially because Alex was really inclined to, like, fling money around, like, uh -huh. crazy. And I'll seemed. buy you another fancy dress, and I'll put you in more clothes for me, and I'll, I'll control your life more. Right? And so I do. Mm. Uh, have you been waiting for me? Yes! That's because I have an excellent idea! What's that? And I couldn't text you because I needed to see you and have access to you. I'm so tired. I feel like I've just aged again. Uh. I Why don't you ask a hacker to hack the Vinding Cafe surveillance system? I already did, actually. It happened earlier. But we said that he needed to have access to their actual physical surveillance room. And I couldn't get him that access. And then it was immediately dropped as if Mark would never look into it on his own anymore. <sighs> I know my birthday is coming up, and I'm very tired. It's at least okay. right now, at the time of this recording, because I think this is actually going to go. This up is going to be posted probably at or or no, just it's gonna be after. Much later. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, so, hacker, 
Yeah, maybe Mark can do it. Mm. Well, I know Ma that Mark is great when it comes to computer stuff. And I've already asked him about this specifically. <sighs> but... Oh, my friend is so tired. I'm like, with this was already covered. And it was, oh my god, you can do it. Him. Yeah, I could totally do that. Her. But I wouldn't know how to get you into the basically the surveillance room. I'm sorry. Oh, and it vanishes. Yeah, just like completely. This, I, is, I, this is really exhausting. Again, though, like, like, like it can make sense that Burn would forget about that. Burn's overwhelmed, Burn's stressed, but it does not make sense that Mark would forget about it. And I believe Kayla was there when she asked Mark about it. So the two of them. But I don't remember. I don't think he but at she least, was. But at least Mark was there. And as, as proactive as Mark has been. He might have even mentioned it to Kayla and Kayla going, we could do it without her. Who cares? I was going to say, I don't think he would forget it. So this feels weird. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm tired. I, I, I feel old now. Uh, but how do we get to the computer in the first place? You don't have to get to the computer. Don't you know about the internet? Into the cafe, right? I don't know. But we can ask Mark. I think so. But I think it's too risky. Well, we'll never know if we don't try. Tell me, what's your plan exactly? Hmm. We will need everyone's help. We will all go to the Vine Beans Cafe. We'll distract and then everyone. You and Mark can sneak into the surveillance room. Sneak into the surveillance room like I didn't As think if of it. a tiny little cafe has its own full ass surveillance room. I mean rather than just a computer in the boss's office. Ben uh, Burn already mentioned the surveillance room. I know. But I just I'm... I didn't get to mention it that time about it sounds, how it dumb does it sound sounds. silly, yeah. About going, your cute little cafe has an entire dedicated surveillance room. What kind of thieves are you usually having in there? How many cameras do you have? I feel really tired, just so you guys know. You I, ben, are you out of your mind? If I get caught, things will get even worse. I'll get into even more trouble. And I don't want to drag Mark into this. But you did want to drag Mark into this. You want kids into trouble, trust me. I We're going to do a flash mob of hot guys in the cafe. Whoa, oh. whoa. I've planned everything out, but I need everybody to be on board. I have no ideas. Here I've planned everything out. You literally just said, like, five to ten, like, sentences ago, you literally had no ideas. No, no, he said I have an no, idea. But and how like, would that work? And then I planned I don't everything know. out. I'm like, that. Providing Mark can do magic that happens with computers when you're with them in person, then I've planned everything else out. It's okay, he's a geek. Yes. And everything, everybody will be on board. Trust me, Van. He could just eat the would, surveillance footage, if nothing else. Would you call Mark for help? I'll explain everything when we meet up with everyone. All right, we're gonna bring along every everyone, and everyone, everybody. Are you gonna invite everybody as well? I, I, what? I think we, we we shouldn't bring everyone. Call Mark and ask for help. Why wouldn't what? you? What? I mean, you've already asked. I was gonna say we. Why are you fucking? I mean, the thing is, is we've already ah! asked. I feel like we would ask my poor friend here. <laughs> I feel like we'd totally ask. It doesn't make sense to me that it's sparkly, unless, again, they're offering essentially some level of, like, this is friendship sparkles, but also this is going along with Ben. It's also really frustrating, so I'm going to point this out again, guys, where I feel like basically the paid scenes don't really add necessarily much, where to me, I feel like this would be a big game changer, like, story-wise. Of going, do you do this? Or, or not. not. And it's like, uh, clearly then it doesn't work. I mean, like, Burn would try though. Burn has been trying to engage more with Mark because Mark is actually her friend. Burn also came up with this idea on, on her, her own, own and asked Mark about it. And she would go, well, Why? I guess if it's your idea too. Is she so disempowered when it comes to men? Oh, you came up with the idea. So right. I should do now it. Now I can do it. I'm like, fucking. Or fine. I feel like they just wrote the plot twice and they forgot about the first one. Oh my I god. I think at some point in the editing process they decided to move that piece further out and then they forgot to remove the initial piece of it. Like, <sighs> I think this is what happened. Come on. That Mark. basically they started the original plot of going, yeah, and then she could ask Mark for help and then going, no, we need to drag this out further. But also, this is two scenes with Ben immediately back to back and that's a little bit wired, wild structurally. Yeah, it's like bizarre. to the rest of the game. All right, do it. Come on, and ask for help. That's what we're going to do. I check the time and school should be finished by now. I dial Mark's number and fortunately he picks up immediately. Hey, Burn, is everything okay? Hey, Mark. Mm, yes, everything is fine. Listen, I need your help. Consider it done. Whatever it is, you got it. Oh, okay. Um, Ben has an idea about how to prove my innocence, but we need your help to hack the CCTV in Vine Beans Cafe. Uh, that's no problem, but... Hey, Mark. 
But you already asked me about this, and you told me you didn't think you'd get me in the room, and you also told me that somehow I would need to be in that room, which I haven't needed to to access anybody else's stuff. Right? Okay. Maybe it's like closed surveillance, like just wired? I need to get into their surveillance room, because it doesn't involve any internet or broadcasting. Oh, well, I could hack it from here, because it does actually involve internet and broadcasting. What? But it's going to be quicker and easier. We've had a week. We've had a week. We've had a fucking goddamn... We've had 48 hours and then an entire week. I'm so tired. I, my friend is exhausted by this game. It's all right, we get this. Now I it's actually like levels of like bonkers. from here. Like. But it's going to be quicker and easier if I can use their computer directly. I'm so tired. Ben asks me to give my phone to him. Say, Mark, can we meet in the Vine Bean Cafe's parking lot? Can you ask Kayla to join us? I'll explain everything when we're all together. Sure, but if it's everybody, uh, don't I also need to bring like... Jillian and Alex and Joey? Just checking. No, you don't need to bring... Uh, no one else, he's fine. Oh, okay, that's that's fine. There's one other dude too, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, all right, I'll see you guys there in uh, 15 minutes. Right, f- 15 minutes. Uh, Can you ask Joey to come too? Yeah. Joey? Why? I'll explain when we get there. I, Are you going to stage a right. fight? I don't know. Fifteen minutes later, Ben, Kayla, Mark, Joey, and I, not Jillian, who's been included a part of the group, and now she's completely gone, by and the way. And also, definitely not um, Alex or... Uh... Like, Alex goes to a different school, so that mm. one I have been able to kind of pass off, but right. like, Nate also has like a job. Uh-huh. So Nate is busy, which right. makes sense, but also like makes him weirdly like not available at all romance-wise, and it's really interesting, because usually you're like, you get to know all the dudes, and I'm like, we really don't know we anything. We don't know him at all like right? it's amazing and also there hasn't been any establishing of like we've been continuing texting him it's pretty much like there was the and he just comes by the cafe now that i work here and then we haven't heard from him since right Hi. assemble in the parking lot wait they're on this little street cafe and they have a whole parking lot yes amazing it's probably back like behind it's the probably building. behind the building between yeah. the buildings all right uh, so uh like Daniel, what's your plan ben like what are you thinking Mm. Look, Josh, you're going to have to be pretend to be a difficult customers. I have uh, many Split. customers. Right, yeah, yeah, okay, well, like a lot of customers. I can do that. Kayla, you know the cafe owner, right? Yes, I do. Her office is in the same place as the video room. Because that's usually how a lot of them work, actually. Mm. Great, you're going to distract her. Uh. Meanwhile, Bern and Mark are going to sneak into the surveillance room. Uh. What about you? I'm also going to be an annoying customer. I... I'm going to pretend that I went to the wrong room while searching for the toilet. We all, all need to buy as much time as possible for Mac. Uh, Everybody, including me, thinks the plan is good. That's good, because it sounds really, really awkward to me. Yeah, kind um, of. Mark steps toward us. I've been checking on the cafe manager's social media. Apparently, she's a huge fan of Nate, but he's not here. And he's been coming to our cafe uh, regularly. And hold on! Hold on, I'm not even going to read that line yet, because I'm like, he's been in her cafe regularly coming by to visit Burn. Also, though, that is actually really goddamn funny, because that means that, like, we've had so many moments of, like, actually introducing this as a part of the character, rather than them going, oh yeah, she's a huge fan of this thing that literally showed up in her- That has been frequenting her cafe, cafe. which is Again. different. Than something else like if you're if you are a huge fan of a band and their lead singer starts visiting your cafe to hit on one of your specific new waitresses you might notice just a bit you think all right what if we make a call to nate and ask him to come too sounds a good idea uh, i i'll call I'll him now all right that was burn that's a good idea oh this is a good know. idea i'll call him now mm. but we meet at burn's house when we're done with this mission mm-hmm. all right let's move now Hmm. Kayla and Joey go to the shop first, followed by Ben a few minutes later. Meanwhile, I make a phone call to Nate, and he agrees to help. Well, that's lovely. Good thing he's available. He, he happens, happens to, to be, be in town. town. Mm. Shortly after I hang up the call, Ben texts me. Everybody has been distracted, so Mark and I can sneak into the room. I put on a snapback and sunglasses to cover my face a little bit. I feel like uh, Bella from Twilight. It's, it's great. amazing. It's, a, it's uh, just it's great. such a disguise. Joey, Kayla, and Ben are doing a great job of diverting everybody's attention. Also, everybody literally that I was there, that I worked with, does not fucking recognize them. 
at all. Or they do, but they're like, now you're being a difficult customer without the uh, uh, cafe girl that you were after. Right. So perhaps you weren't actually here for her. You're just difficult customers anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. Who knows? And you focused on her. Could oh, my God. What if the boss got the picture of actually I'd attracted all of these new customers that turned out to be difficult, challenging customers? And what was going on is that this one girl was actually basically bearing the burden of all of them and making it easier for the rest of us to function. And I was going, you're such a pain. You're bringing people in here. But it's really like, these are challenging customers and I'm keeping them off of everyone else's backs. Right. Uh -huh. Okay, so I have a terrible idea. Go. What if this has to do with Nate? Uh... If she is actually a fan, and I know it's just a new element that they've just introduced. What if it's another girl being jealous because Nate's been hitting on you in my cafe and so I needed you to get out of my cafe because I can't have a and girl being involved with Nate. ruin you because you're not supposed to be involved with Nate. I want to be involved with Nate. Or just nobody should be involved with Nate. Uh-huh. Like, and also, that I, want to, I want to smear the name of the girl that Nate says is his dream girl. Even if she hadn't seen him at the cafe, she would have seen the articles if she's a huge fan. I'm... I'm waiting for this to be a, a jealous girl thing. Quickly, Mark and I sneak into the surveillance room, but we're out of time! So we're going to have to see what happens in the surveillance room in, in the, the next, next one. one! Hey, so thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. If you do like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos if you are having a good time with us. It actually really helps us out a lot. It does. Please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi and our Patreon. We have some links in the description down below. Um, it would also be really cool if you did so, because we have some goals uh, that we would like to achieve this year. So mm -hmm. if you would also be inclined to do that, that would be great, too. And I I have been Scandal. And that was the weirdest paid scene we've had in this entire franchise. Really? And I have been Lies. And, and it was great, great playing with you. Bye!